Good morning and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is an infomercial for STEM students. STEM students this morning, what I want to talk about is shortcuts. Now, personally, whenever I take in a shortcut, I did not get what I expected to gain out of that shortcut. It ended up being more complex and it took more time and just did not give me the results and often led to error. So STEM related students, what I'm saying this morning is, I know that you are in the review stage right now in school, you are taking review tests, um, and you all want to take shortcuts. You wanna use your recollection of what you learned last year when and take that shortcut by doing things in your mind, in your head. When the teacher needs you to write out everything she needs or he needs for you to show every step that you've taken um, to derive at that answer so they can understand what you know and what you don't know. Shortcuts are not all the same. Um, so um, it can also depend to where in the process did you take the shortcut. I can tell you from a scientist um, standpoint of view, um, there you can't really do shortcuts because most of the time scientists are trying to discover uncover phenomena that hasn't been looked at before so one of the things that you have to do is you have to continue to document and people want to know everything that you've actually done so you can't really um, live around the fact that you're going to take a shortcut because usually there's more explanation for a shortcut than there is to just to keep it simple what I'm saying STEM related students, when you're doing your work problem, your word problems, or when you're actually doing your math problems at school, you need to take the methodical way of doing things and make sure you're doing things step by step. Show the teacher step by step what you're doing so when you derive at the answer, she may be able to give you some partial credit, but she can't give you partial credit if you're not going to show how you derived at the answer. Okay? So thank you for going to work with Gina. Have a great day.